take a look at question nine out of 4.3. And here we're asked to find the critical points of f prime, the derivative. Find where the function is increasing and decreasing as well as find the local maximum and minimums of our function. So right off the bat, they do give us a critical point of the derivative because the derivative here is undefined at x equals zero, but it is defined on either side of it. So next we have to find where one minus four over x squared is equal to zero. And because we're gonna build a sign chart, the way I'm gonna go about getting our points from this is I'm going to go ahead and treat it as a rational function. So my one I can rewrite as x squared over x squared. And now this is x squared minus four over x squared equals zero. And that's gonna factor out into x plus two times x minus two on top. And then we've got our x squared on the bottom there equal to zero. And we already know that when x is equal to zero, our function here is undefined. But where x is equal to negative two and x is equal to positive two, that is where our derivative equals zero. So where the numerator is equal to zero, that's where your function is going to be equal to zero. Where the denominator is equal to zero, that's where it's going to be undefined. So that gives us our three critical points in this case of our derivative at x equals zero and at x equals positive and negative two. So we're going to take those over. And we're going to draw our number line. And since we have three critical points, that's actually going to cut our number line into four regions here. So we're gonna have region one, region two, region three, region four. And we're doing the sign chart for this. So we just wanna go ahead and break this up. And again, I like to list out all my factors in the order that they give me zeros here. So we get x plus two, then x, then x minus two. And that gives us three linear factors all with a positive slope. And, sorry. We actually wanna have the x squared there. So if, you know, if we were plugging in points, our denominator, what we're going to see in our denominator is that our denominator is always going to be positive except where it's zero. So if you have a factor that is raised to a power, then you have to take that over into your sign chart raised to that power. Our x plus two and x minus two, they're both linear factors. They both have positive slopes, so they're going to be negative until they hit their zero. So x plus two is negative until we get to x equals negative two, where that's the zero, and then after that, it's going to be positive, and x minus two is gonna be negative until we hit x equals two, then it will be positive. 
and then we put this all back together here. So we've got x plus 2 times x minus 2 all over x squared. So negative times a, so on the top we've got a negative times a negative, on the bottom we have a positive, that's going to result in a positive there. In region 2, we're going to have a negative times a positive over a positive, that'll result in a negative. Region 3, we're also going to have a negative times a positive over a positive, that will also be negative. And then in region 4, everybody's positive, and if everybody's positive, that's going to give us a positive value here. So where the derivative is positive, we know f is going to be increasing. Where f is negative, we know it's going to be decreasing. where the derivative is negative, our function is going to be decreasing. So to summarize this, f is increasing on the interval from negative infinity up to negative 2, as well as from 2 positive infinity. And f is decreasing on those other two intervals from negative 2 to 0 as well as from 0 to 2. We can't join these intervals together because our function is not going to be defined there. Well, our derivative is undefined there so we can't join them together. So now that we have that, we've got B taken care of there. We can come over to part C and take a look at, do we have any local minimums, local maximums? We're, we've got a sign change in our first derivative at x equals negative 2. We've got a sign change in our derivative at x equals 2. We don't have a sign change at x equals 0. So we go from positive to negative at x equals 2. So it was going up, then it's going down. That means that f has a local maximum at x equals negative 2. At positive 2, it's negative, which means the function's going down, and then the derivative becomes positive, so the function is then going back up. We've got a value there. That means that f has a local minimum at x equals positive 2. Sorry, that should have been a negative 2 up there. And that is it.